Alright guys, I recently bought a Ledger Nano S device for storing my crypto on a cold wallet. And in this video I want to tell you some of the best practices you should be following when you have crypto on a cold wallet so that you don't lose your crypto to a scam or just losing access to your crypto in general. Purchase only a Ledger device from a trusted source. Ensure you purchase your Ledger wallet from an official and reputable source. Avoid buying from third-party sellers or resellers to reduce the risk of receiving tampered or counterfeit devices. This means that when you buy a ledger, it needs to show you the seed phrase. And if it already has a seed phrase built in, then it has been used before. So only buy new devices and from trusted sellers. If you're also interested in buying one, feel free to use the referral link in the video description to support the channel at no extra cost for you. Verify the authenticity. When you receive your ledger device, verify its authenticity by checking the holographic seal and the packaging. It should come in a tamper-evident package. Set up securely. During the initial setup, choose a strong PIN code, at least 8 digits, and avoid easily guessable combinations. You're better off using a random number generator to generate your PIN than to choose something that's very easily guessable. Keep your passphrase secret and never share it. Write down your recovery seed on a provided recovery sheet and store it securely offline. Never store it digitally and keep it in a physically secure location, at home for example, or in a safe. Use a secure computer. Ensure the computer you use to interact with your ledger is free from malware and viruses. Use up-to-date antivirus and anti-malware software. Be cautious of phishing attempts when accessing your wallet online. This means you ideally don't even download any random software from the internet, especially not from untrusted sources. Regular firmware updates. Keep your Ledger devices, firmware and apps up to date. Ledger frequently releases updates that include security improvements. Beware of phishing scams. Always verify the website's URL. Be cautious of phishing sites that mimic official sites to steal your information. If you want to make a MetaMask wallet, never enter the seed phrase of your ledger. Actually, create a new wallet and then connect your ledger to it. This keeps the security of your ledger intact. Use strong passwords. When setting up accounts on crypto exchanges or wallets, use strong unique passwords for each platform. Consider using a password manager such as LastPass or KeePass to generate and store strong passwords securely. Enable two-factor authentication. Whenever possible, enable two-factor authentication 2FA for your exchange and wallet accounts. This adds an extra layer of security to avoid unauthorized access. Be cautious with transactions. Double-check the recipient's address before sending any cryptocurrency. Always verify transaction details on your ledger's display before confirming. Use a reputable blockchain explorer to verify transactions. Make sure to never transfer funds to any random wallet address which promises to double your crypto or any kinds of profits. Also, financial advisors are not allowed to recommend investing into crypto, which means that you shouldn't do any business with a random financial advisor on the internet which promises to make profits. They are trying to scam you and they are doing illegal business. Back up your ledger. Make multiple copies of your recovery seed and store them in different secure locations. Consider using a fireproof and waterproof safe. So maybe you can give another copy of your recovery sheet to your mom or dad and they can store it in a different place than your home. Because for example, when your home burns down and you just have one recovery sheet, then you could be screwed and you might lose access to all of your crypto stored on the ledger. Limit exposure. Only keep the amount of cryptocurrency you need for active trading or spending in your hot wallet. Store the rest of your assets in cold storage, basically on the ledger. Also question yourself how much money you really want to have on your ledger in order to limit exposure to crypto, in order to safeguard your investments more than having all of your eggs in one basket, such as having all of your money on a ledger, which I would never recommend you to do. But set yourself a certain limit, how much money you would want to put into crypto, and then you can go ahead and do that. So avoid some overexposure to crypto as well. 
Be prepared for emergencies. Create a plan for your loved ones to access your crypto assets in case something happens to you. Ensure they know where to find your recovery seed and any necessary instructions in order to access and recover the funds. Keep a low profile. Be discreet about your crypto holdings to minimize the risk of being targeted by thieves. So don't go on social media bragging that you have so much money in crypto and so on because you might attract some people who will try to target and hack you and you don't want to receive this type of attention. Periodically, inspect your ledger device for any signs of physical tampering or damage. This is less likely unless you live in a home where there are multiple people, but you should be able to trust all the people in your home anyways. So yeah, that could be relevant for some people. Remember that security is an ongoing process. Stay informed about the latest security threats and best practices in the cryptocurrency space and adapt your security measures accordingly. It's essential to take a proactive approach to protect your crypto assets effectively. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and it helped you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and thanks for watching.